multiplying bigger numbers by a single digit. Now you've learned your times tables, you're ready to move on because there are problems beyond 12 times a number. Let's kick off with this, 34 times 2. We learn our tables up to 12 times a number. To get to 34 times 2, we do a nifty bit of thinking to make it easier. We multiply one digit at a time. Nice. And make sure to use squared paper because that will help. We set it out like this. The number we're multiplying first times the multiplier on the next line down. Our answer will go right in here. First, we multiply the ones digit. 4 times 2, that's 8. Now we multiply the tens digit. 3 times 2 is 6. 34 times 2 is 68. Think about that for a moment. 2 lots of 30 is 60 and 2 lots of 4 is 8 and together that is 68. Great stuff. This is so going to make your life in math class easier. And do you see how I kept my numbers in columns? Here's the ones column and the tens column. When you multiply, just as when you add or subtract, keeping your numbers in columns like this is the way to go. That's why I want you to use squared paper. Let's do another one. This time we'll do 45 times 3. Start with the ones. 5 times 3 is 15. Look what I did there. The 5 from 15 goes in the answer line in the ones column and the 1, the tens part of 15, I put just below in the next column over. It's in the tens column. We can all clearly see that this is 15. Next, we multiply the tens digit. 4 times 3, that's 12. And we have to add in this one, so that is 13. There's no more digits to multiply, so just put that 13 straight in there. And there's our answer. We can think check our work. 45 means 40 and 5 more. We want three groups of 40, so that's 40, 80, 120. And three groups of five is, of course, 15. If I add those together, look what we get. It's a match. We got it right. When you multiply like this, you save yourself the heavy lifting of multiplying big numbers by breaking them down into easy parts. We use the table's knowledge we already have so we can breeze through a problem easily. Let's do another one. Can we manage this? Set it up first. Always start at the right in the ones column and work your way over. So 7 times 5 is 35. You can see I've got 35 right here and I'm going to add this 3 in my next answer. Now 1 times 5 is 5 plus that 3 is 8. And finally 6 times 5 is 30. 3085. Isn't this a cool way to handle multiplying big numbers by a single number? OK, last one. Four digits by one digit. When we learn our tables, some tables do seem easier to us than others. But not to worry. You can read this problem as either 9 times 4 or 4 times 9. The answer is the same. 36. Now we've got 7 times 4, or if you prefer, 4 times 7. That's 28. Plus that 3 is 31. 5 times 4, or 4 times 5, is 20. Plus the 3, 23. And 3 times 4 is 12. Plus this 2 is 14. 14,316. I think you've got this now and you're ready to fly solo. Before you do, though, here's something else cool. Different cultures around the world put the tens digit in a different place. Yes, there is more than one way of doing this and getting the same result. Master what I've shown you today. Then next time, I'll show you another place you can put your tens. See you soon on Let's Do Math.